Hi everybody, it is time to conquer the monster that is in the room and that um, I did put it to a vote and you guys, instead of choosing the eye palettes, you chose um, by a very slim majority, um, you chose the blush drawer. Now, there's not just one drawer and this is one of the reasons I have to do this and I have blushes and stuff here and this is the main drawer where everything is trying really hard to fall out and i um, actually have had a couple things fall out so i moved overflow into this drawer anything that's unused i will probably um, sell on my poshmark other stuff i'll be giving to my daughter and um her friends and anything that is old which there are a couple things in here that are really really old that I won't um, oh shoot I know there are more highlighters I have these and that that crap there's more jeez <laughs> oh, well, I have one that I can't find. And see, this is what happens when you have too much stuff. Now, I'm not a big beauty YouTuber, so I don't get free stuff. I don't get PR packages that are full of makeup. I'd love to, but I don't. Um, and so, uh, whatever I get rid of, I don't want to regret later. You know what I mean? So anyway um i have these two big i've got a couple of palette size ones so i'm going to go through those first because i'm not going to get rid of these and one of them is shoot stuff's falling everywhere um is the this anastasia um glow kit and i'm not positive that i love it or not i haven't really used it enough but um definitely not going to be giving this up um and then i did get this tartiest pro glow set now i got this through fab fit fun i have never used it i have opened it and looked at it and it is really beautiful um it does still have the plastic in there there are uh like four highlighters a bronzer and a um darker cream color for contouring. And I'm going to hold on to this. Now, um, this e.l.f. blush palette I really like. Um, the colors are just really, really beautiful. And this one is another one that I got that has a bronzer and blushes and a couple of highlighters. I've never used this. It looks like I'm holding on to everything. Trust me, I won't be. Um, I did get this in a BoxyCharm. It was one of my last ones, and I do like it, and I have swatched this, and it actually looks not insane on. Like, it looks insane in the packaging, but it's really not. And I just feel like I need to try that a little bit more often before I get rid of it. This I will never part with, and this is my um, a set of Tarte blushes that my daughter got me. I don't know why Tarte always looks like it's unused, but when you put your brush in it, it does pick up a good amount of color. But I really like those. And then there's this. And I think I'm going to declutter this. And there's this um, contour palette. I don't contour. Um, but I don't contour. I use like bronzers and highlighters and I guess that's the extent. So I'm going to let this go. This is a, a very good brand, IBY. Um, so I'm going to let this go and um, pass it on to somebody who will want, want it way more than I do. Okay. There's another big thing in here and I have to take it out because it goes in my powder drawer and it's called baked body frosting but when I bought it it also said you could use it on your face and I have used it whoa on my face um, and that is this bronzer by uh, Laura Geller it's still it's like the perfect color for me like a goldenish kind of um, frosty um, definitely a good color for me. I know that I want to keep these. Whoops. Well, I want to keep my lens cap, 
but I know that I really like this highlighter. It's like a highlighter blush, um, and I really do like it, and so I'm going to hold on to this. Um, Frat Boy, I think I already have this, and so I'm going to hold on to some weight until I see if I do. I have these two Bella Pierre's. One is very peachy, one is very pink. Um, they are liquid. I'm not positive, so they're going to go over here with the Frat Boy. I think I have another one that's exactly the same. I have the CLE highlighter, and um, you can see that it's still sealed. I, I'm probably going to sell this on Poshmark, 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 crying out loud. I'm sure it's beautiful on. I don't want to open it and uh, test it now because um, we're going to, I'm going to sell that on Poshmark. I also got this um, cargo. It's actually, it says um, highlighter in bronze. Oh, and it's beautiful. It's freaking beautiful. It's like, Oh my God, it's so soft and it's, it's, it's too beautiful. Um, I haven't used it enough to decide to get rid of it. And so I'm going to keep it. Okay. Um, you'll never see me get rid of a Tarte blush unless I have it in the Tarte palette. And this one is in, uh, party. <laughs> And that is not in here, I, I don't believe. Let me see if the names are on here. Nope, it's not. Um, and so I'm gonna hold on to this. Um, this Hikari, I've already swatched this. This is like a blush uh, lipstick and it's very patchy. So I'm gonna get rid of that. That I have to throw away. I won't be um, passing that on or selling that. Um, then I have this Wet n Wild, which I was not able to get to very well. Um, and it's very, very pretty. Uh, it's highlighting powder. I'm not, I'm thinking I could probably, I'll let that go. I'm going to regret that, but I'm going to let it go. Let's see what else is back here. This I will never let go. I never let go of anything by Smashbox. Um, packaging's dirty just from being in the drawer, but what I do is I swirl all of it together with a brush and then I put it on. It's got like a peachy color, a highlight, and a bronzer, and then it's got this white, white stuff. Um, but I use like a brush and swirl all the way through it, so I'm definitely going to hold on to that. Anything I have by Smashbox is always staying uh, right here. Okay, this is by Hikari, and this is Honestly, as crazy as it looks in the container, it's really beautiful on. Um, and it's very pink though. Um, let me put a heavier swatch so you guys can see it. It's very, very pink. I think, hmm. I think I'm gonna let this go. Okay, um, I have this blush from Model Co, and I love it because it is a very peachy color, which definitely goes more with my coloring. So you can see it's it's very. I'm sorry, the lights are probably bleaching that out, but um, this is a much better color for me. So for now, I'm going to hold on to it. This is a crazy, crazy product. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It's really a crazy product. Um, it's like a gold frost, another gold frost, <laughs> a bronze color, <laughs> and a blush color. Uh, I did like this when I got it. Um, I don't think that I'll be using that, and so is that. Yeah, no, the latch is not broken, so I'm going to let that go. I have a couple of these Model Co's um, bronzers. They're both open. Um, they Neither of them have their box still. Uh, this one is untouched, so this one I will let go, and this one I believe I used. Yeah, you can see a little brush mark, so that one will stay. Okay, and now I have this from Ofra, and it's in Paradise Pink. And let me tell you, it's a really, really pink, Mama. I don't think I'll ever use this. Uh, 
Yeah, I'll never use that. That's a shame because I really liked it when I got it. This I will hold on to because I do really like the way this Wet n Wild um, highlighter looks on me. Alright, this highlighter is my favorite one. This is from Starlux. Let me just see if you smell. No, no smell. But anyway, um, what I do when I use this is I dot 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 and it's just freaking gorgeous. It's really beautiful. So that is going to stay. Um, this blush serum from Beauty Crop or Beauty, what the heck is this company? Butario Beauty. Hmm, okay, so it belong, it's like has a company name on it. it smells like cake. Oh, it is dried out. It's dried out. How did that happen? Okay, so this is garbage because it's dried out. I can't believe it. All right, um, then there is this from Tarantino. Of course, I lost a little plastic disc. The blush is a cream and this is a shimmery um, bronzer. I like this blush on, so I'm going to keep that. Oh, and this is from Han, which is a natural company. I got this in one of those natural beauty boxes, and I really love this blush. So I do keep it in here just because I think double sealing it like that probably preserves it a little bit longer because natural products tend to go bad pretty fast. Okay, so um, I have this, and I do really like it. I got it as a trade when I was still trading and basically, whoops, I smooshed the brush. Um, basically what you do, let me see if I can correct, do corrective action there, is you smoosh it on your cheeks. Um, hmm. Is it still good? It looks shrunken. Looks like it has shrunk away from the sides of the, yeah, this is garbage. I can't believe it. I have to let this go. When in doubt, throw it out. Yeah, that's too bad because I really did like that. Okay, I have this set of cream highlighters from Model Co. They smell like cake, so I'm assuming that is a good thing. And there's like a tan highlighter, um, kind of like a bronzy kind of a color, a pink one. Um, yeah, that doesn't show up. <laughs> there it is. Okay, and of course the white one, which is like a pearl color. I'm never going to use this. Um, I can see another one I'm going to let go right away, and this is Tarte Dreamer, and it's a blush, but doesn't... It smells ever so slightly off, and it does look like it's separating. See the oil there? Um, see if I bring it up closer you can see that it's starting to separate a little bit so this is gonna have to go in the garbage as well let's see I have this Jouer cream highlighter and it seems to be a bit dried out let's see is it dried out um, yeah, it's showing up, but barely, um, so I have to throw that out. Okay, now, uh, other cream products. This Be A Bombshell is really, really pretty, and it's like a um, pinky kind of a highlighter. I'm never going to use this. I, I'm really never going to use that. Oh God, this is still good, so I will put that in a a bundle for Poshmark or blog sale. Okay, and I got this recently. This was in an Ipsy bag, and there's a powder bronzer that's like uh, really kind of a nice color for me, um, and a highlighter that is like a cream highlighter um, that's dried out. Well, it's, it is coming off on my fingers. It's just not showing up on my skin tone. So this, I think, has to go 
bye bye. Yeah, even though I like the bronzer part, I, I don't think I'm going to keep that because I will never use it. Remember I said I thought I might have another bell pier? Well, this one looks separated. Let's see. Well, it smells like cake. Smells good. It's not... It's still cream. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty nice still. So which color are the you? This one is Coral Cheek Stain. That's pink, and this one is also coral. I certainly don't need two of them. So, let's see. And this one, did I ever use this one? No, I actually am going to put that in a bundle with other stuff, because it's still good. But I'll keep these two. One of them's coral, one of them's... Do I want the pink one? Um, let's see. Ay, ay, ay. No, I don't want the pink one, so... I'll let that go. Okay, I also had these in my uh, everyday makeup drawer. Um, I am going to get rid of this. I've been trying to pan it, but you know what? It's uh, Even though I love the color on me, it's not cruelty free. Now obviously it's been used and abused and I'm almost hitting pan right there. So I can't, um, there's, I have to throw it out because it's been around for quite a while. Um, I've been only buying cruelty free for about two years and I think this is uh, something that I got just before I went cruelty free. So I have to toss that out. Okay, other stuff. This is pretty old. Doesn't smell bad yet. It's from Doll 10. You know what? It's a cream blush that I don't think is going to um, be good to put on my skin. I don't want to take any chances. So I'm going to let that go as well. Okay, I do like this stuff from e.l.f., but I don't know if it's good enough, good anymore. Um, you know, you let something sit for a little while and it loses its um, potency. Um, yeah, this I will never ever wear. Never in a million years. I like it. The artist in me likes it, <laughs> but I don't really like it on me. All right, so I love this bronzer from e.l.f. Um, it is in the uh, color Baked Peach. If I come across any Baked Peaches, I will hold on to them because I like it that much. Okay, I have this from Ofra. Um, this highlighter is beautiful. Will I ever wear it? I don't know. I have to give it a try. I have to at least try it. So I'm going to hold on to that. I don't think I've ever used it. I think I've just admired it from afar. So um, I also have this set from ooh, Wet n Wild. Um, a lot of people use this to set their under eye. I might try that. And this is a perfect bronzer for me. It's kind of like a slightly cool tone um, bronzer. So I'm going to hold on to that. Uh, I am like really into Wet n Wild. I love Wet n Wild. This is another bronzer. It's got a little uh, palm tree in it, so it's kind of warms it up a little bit. Uh, let's see if I can even get any color off of it. Um, well, for me, it's colorless, and so I'm going to let it go. And then there is this Color Icon bronzer. This um, does come off for me, and it's like very hard to see but it's like a nice golden -y color so I'm going to hold on to that. I have tried this pure bronzer and I really love it and so I'm going to hold on to that. Both of these Physicians Formulas I love. They're both bronze booster type of things. This one is the Super BB Insta Ready Filter BB Bronzer SPF 30. SPF in a bronzer doesn't matter unless you're going to put it all over your face and put a ton of it on. 
Um, it's nice of them to put it in there, but it's not really going to help. This one is the Bronze Booster in Light to Medium. Both of them come out really nice on my skin tone, so I'm going to keep both of those. Um, this one, oh god, I was going to keep it. I do like it, but I have other bronzers that are like almost the same color. It's a little bit cooler. Um, then there is this one. Well, they're both cooler. This is a warm color. Let's see, do I have a warm bronzer? It doesn't look like I have a warm bronzer. Do I need this? I don't need this, and it's old, so I have to throw it out. I'm going to declutter that. Okay, and this blush is a freaking awesome on me. It's wet and wild and it's like the color is um, pearlescent pink but it comes off as a peach color um, on my skin like a pinky peach and so I'm going to keep that. Ah, I have this um, Illum um, or Glamix and I got it in a beauty box that was one of those Oh, and it smells bad, so it's going it's going away. Um, I have the this Too Faced bronzer. Huh, this is actually kind of like the one I'm tossing out, like a brick color. And so this could be a good stand-in. This is the old packaging. Apparently there's new packaging now. I hate when companies just change the packaging. And the pan just falls right out. So I might uh, eventually put this in a Z palette. Uh, then there's this Caribbean Sun, and it is a um, bronzer and a blush. And let's see, how, does that blush even show up? Yes, it does. So I know that I can use this by using a smaller brush to get into each of those pans. And let's pull this one out next, and this is Make, and this is very pink. Um, but that might look nice on my skin in the winter when it gets really chilly. And my skin is white. Really white. Uh, although it seems like that's never going to happen for me again. <laughs> Alright, this is a bronzer that I really like. And it's a sample bronzer, but it's lasting me forever. And this is that um, Park Avenue Princess. And I love the color, so I'm going to keep that. I have too much bronzer that I'm keeping. I know this. Okay, this one from Pop Beauty is really pretty, but I have other colors like this, just like this, so I'm going to let it go. God, really doing pretty good now. All right, so back to blushes. We have not saved a lot of blushes yet. Um, so anyway, this one is like barely there. Um, it's so light that it do, it barely shows up on my skin. You can see it right there, but it does have a very pretty color, and I think you can build it up. It's from Catrice, Illuminating Blush, and the color is I Am Nuts About You. This is a really pretty bronzer from Milani. I gave this up once before. I'm going to give it up again because I don't think I need it with all the bronzers that I have. I know I've had Milani blushes I gave up and regretted, but I think I have enough bronzers now. And this is like basically like a shimmer brick of bronzer. Um, so, I don't know. I'll put this in the maybe. This I'm going to keep. I already know this because I just used it. This is a Crazy Bright Highlighter um, on. It's like a warm highlighter. And the other side is a blush. I have such bony hands, my goodness. Um, and I like both of these. Oh, there's the other um, Baked Peach. And I keep this because I love it so much that I will keep both of them. It's my favorite. Okay, here's another blush from Tarte. 
and this one is quirky. It's Glamour Dolls. Glamour Dolls is a cruelty-free brand. Ah, and this is a beautiful bronzer, and so I will keep it. I keep stuff in the box, though, until I am good and ready to take it out. This has a blush in it that I can't give up because I cannot replace it. I know people have told me, why don't you repress it? Blah, blah. I, You know what? I would lose so much of it if I repressed it. Anyway, it's Laura Geller Ethereal. And you can see that it was slammed around when I bought it from Hot Look. They just put it loose in a box. I can still get my brush in here and use it, and so that's why I save it. Because I can't replace it. I've been looking for the color, and I cannot replace it. All right. I'm not getting rid of either of these because they're really nice. That is like a kind of an iridescent goldeny pink um, highlight. And this one has two of them in it. And they are just freaking stunning. So I'm just, I'm not getting rid of these. Um, this is a blush. Um, it's, it's supposed to be a contouring kit from um, Bronze Booster from Physicians Formula. One of them is like a blushy color, one of them is a golden, and one of them is just a flat out highlight. It comes with the worst brush um, probably in the industry. Where did I put my maybe pile? I had a maybe right here. I'm gonna put this in my maybe. This from Laura Mercier. I've been working on this for like, it feels like my entire lifetime. Um, but I'm going to keep working on it. It's a highlighter. I don't know if Laura Mercier is still cruelty free, but it was when I got it. This I am keeping because I absolutely adore it. Let's see if I can open it without ruining it. Wow, I really destroyed my nails. But what I do is I take a, a highlighting brush and I just run it through and then I highlight. Oh my god, it's just beautiful. So that is staying. This is from Trifle Cosmetics and it's tiny. I don't know why I even have this. It's a blush, bronzer, um, two blushes and a bronzer. Uh, I think I might have gotten this through an Ipsy, but I think I'm gonna um, sell that as like part of a package on Poshmark. Okay, and then I have this one from um, Ulta. It's just called Yellow Diamond. And there it is right there. You can't, you can't really see it. It's just really beautiful and not too shimmery. So I'll be keeping that highlighter. And I have this from, wow. This is from BoxyCharm. It sounds like it's got a bead or something in there. Let's see. And yeah, it's like kind of almost invisible. Damn it, I don't know. Yeah, it's a, another maybe. Shoot, crazy person that I am. I just got this highlighter stick in uh, one of my boxes. I think it came in a, um, I wanna say that it came in a Allure Beauty box. But anyway, this is freaking beautiful, actually. It's got like little ribbons of pink and and beauty in it. So I'm gonna, I know that La, La Ritzy spoils pretty quickly. Ooh, this is perfect color for me. So I'm, I'm happy now. Um, but I know that La Ritzy is uh, not, uh, it's cruelty free and it doesn't have any, um, it does not contain all the same preservatives that everything else does. So, okay, this is a powder um, and it is crazy bright. It's like crazy bright. Look at that. It's like full on glitter. Uh, shoot, it's pink, um, but it's like really a glittery powder, pink sapphire it's called. Uh, I'll keep it for now. I have to play with it. 
Okay, this is a blush powder and it's called, got a little makeup on the bottom of it. It's called Luminous Loose Blush and it's by Studio Makeup. And it's a really beautiful color on me. And there's no um, shimmer at all in this. It's just beautiful color. Barely their color. Then there is this Belle Pierre one, which I haven't opened yet. I'm going to keep it that way until I start to use it. I'm going to keep that. And then there's this Cougar highlighting powder that is open. Um, and it's like a very yellow highlighter. Um, but it's pretty, so I'm going to keep it for now. Okay, and this I got in one of my boxes. Um, and this is a mineral highlight powder also. Um, it is open. <laughs> Just like an open hull. <laughs> but it's pretty color, and so I'm going to keep that. It's very, very light highlighter. Uh, I have a Pacifica blush, and I have not given this any love at all, so I'm going to save that and give it some love before I decide whether I want to keep it or not. Um, I have these two cargo, there's another one somewhere, where are you? There you are. Actually three of these cargo blushes and bronzers. Let's see what we got here. Um, I have one called Bali, one with uh, no name, just says blush and bronzer, duo. And this one says, look, they're all different, how about that? Um, Oh, this is freaking beautiful. Oh my God, this is not a duo. And this is beautiful and the perfect peachy color for me. Oh my God, I did not realize this was a singleton. I just assumed it was one of these. Okay, so this one is a pink and a bronzer. It's a very pink pink that I'll never wear. And this one, oh wait, this is another Oh my god, I'm discovering some products that I like. Oh yeah, look at that. So beautiful. So that is staying. <laughs> this um, dual thing, I'm going to um, go ahead and give that away. So I was sure I had Frat Boy in here, but I don't see him. And so, yeah. Um, it's a pretty good color for me. It's really had it, the packaging. I can't give it away because the packaging is just so shot. Then there's Bomb Springs. I really like this. This is like really beautiful. Yeah. And this time Ipsy gave us a bigger pan, so that was nice. Okay, got this also from Ipsy. It is by um, Luna Cosmetics. And this is in the color Calypso. And I know it looks purpley gray in here, but it does not look purpley gray on the skin. It looks like um, very slightly purpley. So that one is going to go. I have a highlighter I know I'm not going to get rid of. This came, um, I got a Doucet set that was shadows. And then I got a big Doucet set that was shadows and a highlighter. So what I did is I combined the shadows into the bigger pan and I put just the highlighter in this one and it's just, it's too beautiful to give up. So, and it's brand new, so I'm gonna hold on to that. Okay, Makeup Geek, I love her. I love everything she stands for and so I'm gonna keep this blush. Um, not so much because I love her, because I do, but it does look really, really pretty on. It's got an awful lot of pigmentation, so I have to be careful when I put it on. This I'm keeping because it is exactly the right color for me. Let's see, there we go. It's like a rosy perfection. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, it's, it's just beautiful. This is Skin na, 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 by Dimitri James. I got it on Hot Look quite a while ago. So I don't know, but it's all powder. It all smells perfectly fine. There's a bronzer, two blushes. I'm going to hold on to this. This is just too nice to give up. Okay. I think I 
Didn't I just have a... Yeah, I do. Look at that. I have a bronzer and a blush from uh, Pacifica. I did not know I had these. I will keep them together. I do have two NARS things. I'm very mad at NARS because they were cruelty free and they decided to sell in China. So anyway, I am going to use these up. There's not very much product in these, I assume. Uh, one of them is bronzer. The bronzer is in Laguna and the blush is in Orgasm. So I'll use those up. Um, Dirty Little Secret, some people say is not cruelty free. I did look into it and found that they were way back when. I don't know if they still are, but this is a very gold highlighter and I think it's too... I have enough highlighter that's golden. Um, so I'm going to let this go. Uh, this blush, I think, though, is going to be nice for me. It's very, very pale. I think it's made for someone who's lighter than me. It's too light, so I'm going to let that go. That came from Ipsy, by the way. This is really nice. Um, I don't know where I got this from. <laughs> but it's really pretty. It's two highlighters. It's Pixie, which is a cruelty-free brand. There's a light color, and there's a pinky highlighter. I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm going to keep these for now this for now and you know what um, I'll, I'll have just have to start using it this is really nice and this is a highlighter from elf I'll tell you what elf is cruelty free and has some of the best products out there so um, I'm gonna hold on to that I have this trace deke highlighter doesn't smell bad I'm gonna keep that I really like it I wow do I have two of these Okay, this is a high, this is a blush and a highlighter. Pretty clearly a blush that doesn't really is not really good for me. So I'm going to let it go. Okay. Now, this has been buried for so long. <laughs> well, it says afterglow, but it's the color is actually kinky and it's like a bronzer blush kind of color. And uh, it's very peachy, nice and perfectly peachy for um, my complexion, so I'm going to hold on to that. Okay, I've got two of these Ulta things. They're not wrapped in plastic anymore. Oh yeah, they are. They're sealed. Oh, this one's not. This one that's sealed, I'm going to go ahead and put it in that. And this one that is open... Um, Yeah, there's not, I don't know, there's not a lot of, the color's just too, too much like my natural skin tone. This is really pretty, and it's like iconic, so this is not going anywhere. I do want to say that as I start using all these things, if I find that I don't want to keep using them, then I'll give them away. Um, this this is the one from Beauty Crop, and this is a really pretty highlight. We're keeping Becca. Um, this barely shows up on my skin tone. It's from Manicadar Sheer Glow uh, Shimmer Lotion, it says. However, it's more like a little blush kind of a thing. It's not, I don't know what it is, actually. I give it to my daughter because it'll actually show up on her skin. Um, okay, and this is another one of those natural products. Still smells good, but it's dried out, so, yeah. It smells okay, but it's dried out, so that's garbage. Um, this one that, uh, is from Jelly Pong Pong, um, all over glow it actually is a really really pretty highlighter so uh, I'm gonna hold on to that this I got in a trade somebody sent this along I don't know it looked more like a nail polish but I knew it wasn't um, let's see it's got like a little brush in there which is kind of weird there's no bad smell or anything 
and I guess you brush a little bit on and then you smear it around and that actually looks pretty nice as a highlighter so okay and then there's this make um, face gloss pretty sure this is highlighter or spoiled or it's not highlighter Frig is it? It's clear. So has it been in the wrong drawer all this time? Oh wow, it's it's a primer. <laughs> it's a freaking primer. So I have to put this in my primer drawer. I can feel the silicone. All right, so we've gone through everything except Laura Geller. These sticks I have never used. They're from Smashbox. But they're too beautiful to give up. I have to give them a try. Um, it's either that or I sell them on Poshmark. And I don't think that I want to sell them. I think I want to give them a try. Okay, so I have big blushes, right? <laughs> I have three of the big giant. And I have some repeats. One thing about uh, Laura Geller blushes that I notice is that sometimes there's a subtle difference in color. Oh God, I love that. Look at that. It's so freaking beautiful. This one is Tropic Hues, and I know I already have Tropic Hues. I have it right here. But it's slightly pinker than this one. See, there is a subtle enough difference. I know I'm rationalizing keeping this, but yeah, there's a subtle difference. I think this one is, yep, Tropic Hues also. And there's even a difference between the big one and the these this little one. Oh crap, what do I do? This, yeah, the colors are like different. So I'm gonna keep all of those. And then I have two more um, blushes. This one's pink grapefruit and this one's pink grapefruit. And let get a load of this. And I have, this is pink grapefruit. Yep. Okay, so get a load of that. I know on camera they probably look identical, but they're not. They're totally not. This one is more golden. This one is more berry um, and this is the original pan this one looks stunningly like it so I will let that one go uh, and this one looks a lot like it too so I guess I'll let that go god I hate to do that though and I have three highlighters uh, one of them is in Portofino, the other one is in Golden Rose, and the other one is French Vanilla. French Vanilla is actually my favorite, but since they're all different colors, I'm going to keep them all. I know, you can tell me I'm crazy now. <laughs> um, but I am going to keep all those. I'm going to make a decision about these other items that are, um, that were maybe, yeah, I'm going to let this go. Um... I honestly, I don't see myself ever using it, and I do like it, but I have enough of everything. Okay, so that's gone. This I don't know what to do with, because it doesn't, it doesn't show up on my skin. But that might be a good thing, because that means that it could go into um, a foundation but it doesn't really show up at all. Well, it does actually when I hold it away from the light, the light is kind of bleaching it out. It does show up enough, so I'll hold on to that for now. <sighs> and when in doubt, keep it because I let the other one go, so I'm gonna keep this. Okay, so I am gonna put everything back together again and, um, and then I'll show you everything I'm giving up. Uh, one more time and so I'll be right back don't go anywhere 
um, what I did is I put like all the cream stuff back here. These are going to have to lay down when they get into the drawer. Except for combination stuff, which like this is a bronzer and a blush um, cream combination. I thought I kept too many bronzers, but I didn't. This is it on the bronzers. My biggest problem is the blush, but honestly, these Laura Geller ones, they take up so much room. And they were previously in a separate drawer. Um, and these Laura Geller um, highlighters, I'll just leave back there with the Laura Geller stuff. Anyway, um, this has all of my blush. Um, the front has odd stuff. These things, I think, need to be depotted and put into a Z palette. So, uh, because you, you, this is so obscured, you can't even tell those are blushes. And these are tiny, so I think I'm going to put them in a face palette. These things here are too tall to fit, to fit comfortably in this without having them on a pretty sharp angle. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, in the interim, I feel like I did pretty well. I haven't counted this, but I can certainly count these things um, and give you a, a number for those. Okay, so this is a pretty uh, large declutter, I think. Um, I think I did pretty good, even though I still have too much. Um, but like I said before, I'm not a big YouTuber who gets freebies, so... Okay, so it's 28 things that are either going to Poshmark, my daughter, or a blog sale. Now, to that 28, we'll be adding these that are going into the trash, the eight. So I decluttered 38 items, which I think is pretty darn good. 38 declutters. And my drawer looks much, much neater. Anyway, thank you much, very much for watching. This has been Mary with Reviewer's Diary with this amazingly large declutter. I really didn't think I was going to make it this far and get rid of this much stuff. So thank you very much for watching. Have a beautiful evening. Good night! <laughs>